Okay everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel today. We're back on GT Sport and we're back with a little update with regards to 1.47 that has arrived today, including four new cars from manufacturers including Lamborghini, Porsche, Mazda and Mercedes. Now the cars, there's some okay ones. The Lamborghini I'm quite um, looking forward to having a little try of, but um, the Mercedes could be quite fun. But the main thing about this update is Spa has finally been added to the game. Now, this isn't just the dry version. This is, as I predicted um, a few months ago, I said they're probably delaying it maybe to get Spa added in with wet weather. So on screen at the moment, we've got a lap driving. I have to recommend this group two at Spa is really uh, one of the nicest combinations I've tried so far. Now I have tried Super Formula, I've tried um, Group 2 like I say and I've tried Group 3. Group 3 is also really good and obviously Super Formula. I think these three combinations are Group 2, Super Formula and um, Group 3 are very much the combinations to have a try of. I think anything slower than Group 3 like Group 4 is going to be a little bit too slow for Spa in my personal opinion. I think it won't be as fun. However, it's probably still going to be a, you know, a good good combination to try out, obviously, in Group 4. But I definitely think Group 3, Group 2, and obviously Super Formula, and probably Group 1 as well, will be great fun um, driving around Spa. You can see, um, visually, the track looks absolutely stunning and looks very, very accurate. I mean, comparing it to my experience on iRacing and Assessor Corsa, it is very, very well done on GT Sport. I would say it's better than on Project Cars. On Project Cars, I don't think they quite get Spa correct on the original Project Cars and also on Project Cars 2. I feel like they didn't quite get... There's something not right with that game with Spa, in my personal opinion. But on GT Sport, they've nailed it. They've got it very much similar to iRacing and Assetto Corsa. Um, going from them games and coming straight to GT Sport... It's so easy to get up to speed. Um, the break-ins, the break points are identical. You've got the same reference points. Everything feels very well done, and it feels um, like they've really nailed the visuals of the track. Everything feels where, how it should do. Um, it's in, in terms of Group Three, I think it's got the right amount of grip. It's got it's a little bit trickier than on iRacing, racing, but um, a set of course set. It's hard because the set of course has grip as well, but um, GT obviously has a little bit more grip. I tried the hard tyres obviously to replicate as close as possible to iRacing. racing. Um, there's a couple of corners which we'll point out as we go through a lap that are a little bit um, trickier on that game. But there's a couple of areas where GT Sports, you got to be uh, very cautious as well obviously. As we finish this lap, you can see the replay cameras are absolutely stunning as expected from Gran Turismo. But we're going to start a lap now with the Group 2 car. Now this is the car I chose to do a lap because it, actually, it feels so nice to drive this car around. We're using the Nissan GTR 2016 Group 2 Super GT car. So going in, breaking around the 100 board so that you can bite it into that apex. Really important to hit a very early apex on that corner. You don't want to run wide because you lose time on terms of getting on the power and carrying the speed all the way down here because you're not going to break at all in group three group two or super formula i think um some group three cars might require maybe a little bit of a safety lift if you don't get the right uh, the right line through that really fast flowing um like for a redallion and a rouge you know if you don't get it correct then you're going to possibly have to give a slight lift at the top of the hill but other than that it's flat out and then the braking points into the chicane there identical to i racing again same with down going through the um, into this tight hairpin you see I normally use the start of the curb with the brake reference on other games and it's very similar on this game I know we're in um, faster cars but the brake reference don't change too much because, because you're going so much faster in group 2 but um, I also did a few laps in the group 3 which um, I drove the Porsche 911 um, RSR around this track and it felt very nice to drive uh, I'm really looking forward to some group 3 racing at this track I think group 2 though I really hope that we have some FIA races in Group 2. Now, I'm a big fan of Spa. I've loved Spa. I've driven it so many times on other games. I've done set-up videos here. I know the track off by heart. Um, very easy to jump on and get straight up to speed um, in GT Sport because everything feels familiar. The references are identical. There's a couple of um, track limits you need to be a bit cautious of. Um, in the first sector, you've just got to be a bit wary of uh, the top of the hill just running over the um, cutting the corner slightly you can pick you up a penalty very similar to i racing um, quite strict through them corners so um, it's not as strict on some of the exits of corners although you have to be careful on that exit there um, especially in the wet conditions you will get caught out in the wet we're going to show you a run in the wet conditions in a moment to show you just how tricky it is now this is going to be the heavy wet conditions which again looks stunning and um, 
are going to be a real challenge, I think, in Group 3 because the cars lose a lot of traction um, in terms of grip and braking ability as we jump on board with my lap now. Driving the Porsche. Now, this is my third lap. You can see I did an outlap, binned it on lap 2, as you know, as you do. At the top of the hill, um, we, we lost control and spun on the kerb. So it's going to be tricky. Obviously, I think once we're, we're all used to this track in the wet, we could see some very good FIA races here, probably in wet conditions. I'm really hoping they do do. And whether it's going to be, you know, they need to separate the seasons. I hope they don't do like two or three races all in one season in the same series, like manufacturer, etc. Um, you see at the top of the hill here, you have to be cautious on that kerb in the wet. You'll see the rear almost twitching around there. But it, it's really good fun. You can see the lack of grip that I had through there. I couldn't go anywhere near flat in the heavy rain. Um, the, there, are, there are, again, three different conditions for this track in terms of the wet weather. You have the kind of like intermediate heavy wet setting, which has got more grip than this heavy wet. But it's it's strange. You still feel like you're faster on the heavy wet tyres because there's still a lack of grip. And then you have the intermediate setting, which is the last um, time slot of the day, the very late slot. I think it's like half eight at night in the rain. Um, now that setting is the intermediate setting where you need to use the intermediates. The other setting in the morning, I think it's going to be, it, it's probably up in the air which tyre is best. I think probably the heavyweight is still the fastest tyre. But this midday setting is 100% heavyweight. You can see it's cloudy, the, rain, the track is um, fully wet and it's very difficult to find traction around the corners. You can see I'm not really used to the braking. I'm just trying to give you an idea of how it's driving in the group three in the wet as we go through this long left hand corner the corner you have to be very careful with the Porsche you'll see now getting on the power you'll see it almost drifts through the whole corner sliding through that corner taking some nice wear out of that rear and just about hanging on to the car as we go into the braking board and again similar braking references to other games like iRace and set of course using the board over our head um, in the dry conditions that the dry condition lap in the hard tires and um, just so you are just for reference for you as well as we run wide there these laps were done in um online session this one with full fuel and low i think it's times one fuel progression so we're running a heavy car and we've got the track grip set to real because if you don't set the track grip to real um so if you go into arcade and go into time trial and try these tracks out in the wet you're not getting the proper grip you're getting unrealistic arcade settings you're getting the very high grip levels um, you need to go onto an online session set it as private and alter it to real conditions so that you've got the actual grip that you'll get when you come to FIS. We nearly lose it again there into the final corners now. Braking on the white line around the 150, probably a little bit earlier in these heavy wet conditions you see, down into first gear and just being cautious on the throttle. You have to be so cautious you don't go over that kerb too aggressively and then accelerating down to the final corner. A very enjoyable lap. I love Spa. Finally on Gran Turismo, a track that we've all been waiting for and we're going to be doing some streams on this later and obviously um, we're probably going to be doing a lot of FIA races here as well. Now looking at the four new cars, Again, this is not my fate. I really hope they start adding some more proper race cars, current and maybe some classic race cars. We have obviously got one in this, but it's not really the car I'd like. We've got the Porsche, which, I mean, some people are probably excited to drive that. For me, I I'm more looking forward to some more proper race cars in the future. I think that's what we need. We've had a lot of road cars recently, but I'm really hoping we get a nice update with like maybe eight or ten r race cars. That would be amazing if they could do that in the future. We're going to buy that car anyway. Um, just over 200,000 credits um, you'll need to purchase the Porsche. Um, not too expensive. I'm sure most people will be able to buy that if, if they've got, you know, if they want to. Um, but yeah, we bought, bought that. Next up, we have the race car. Well, it's kind of, I mean, it's a very old race car. It's a Mercedes and look at this tank. It is an absolute tank. Over 400 horsepower though, so probably got a bit of power. Could be quite fun for some online racing, getting a little bit aggressive, getting, you know, it's going to be very, um, it's going to be a heavy car to drive, I imagine. Very um, sluggish through the corners, especially fast corners. I imagine this car will struggle and um, it should be pretty good on curbs though because I imagine this car's got so much weight, it shouldn't really get affected by curbs. But 2 million for this car, quite um expensive i bought it because i've obviously got the credits there and i'll build them back up so bought it anyway whether we'll use that on stream i don't know we might just give it a try out i haven't tried any of these cars out yet we'll probably do all this on stream next up the lamborghini now this i do like the look of i have to admit i i love the aventador it's one of my favorite road cars it looks amazing and it's the super veloc version it looks really nice i mean just look how aggressive this car looks i i absolutely love this car so 
Probably give this a try out on stream later. So if you want to buy um, the Lamborghini, we might do a single make race in the Lamborghini when we're streaming later on. Um, should be good fun. And this car, again, I don't think it's um, overly expensive. It's, it's obviously going to set you back some credits. So let's have a little look as we purchase it. 1.2 million, so it is quite expensive. But again, um, it's not hard to build that type of money up. It'll only take you a few races, a few combinations to get that amount of money. So bought that car. That one's out of the way. And then we move to the final car, which is going to probably be a daily race A next week, my guess, or something like that, at probably Suzuka East or Sakuba or something like that. It's going to be at one of them tracks. We know it's going to happen. It'll be a daily race A, and it'll be a race that we do not do because I'm not really a fan of them type of races. Um, but yeah, some people enjoy them. I'm sure some people have some fun with that. It's not my type of car. I'm, I'd rather they started adding more race cars. Hopefully, they'll do that in the future. But the main thing is all these updates are free. And we've now finally got Spa. It's on the game. No more complaining. We did say about this a long time ago in a video because I did get told by a reliable source. But obviously, they had the licensing issues with the game. And um, finally, they've got the licenses, licensing issues sorted on the game and we're able to play it at home. So I look forward to doing some live streams, racing with you people on the game, in public lobbies, in open lobbies and um, having some good fun at Spa. Um, hope to see you all in the streams. Hope you enjoyed that quick update. Hope you enjoy the track. And um, for people that ha don't know the track yet, we will obviously get some track guides out for this whenever there's a daily race or an FIA race. We'll get them track guys sorted as soon as there is a combination that we know will be needing a guide. Anyway, thanks again for watching, everyone. I'll be back soon. See you all soon.